to my channel today in this video I'm going to do a makeup tutorial yes I just I just I can like I just love makeup so much today's look is going to be um, like brown shimmery gold look so it could be like for fall or like any event that you want but like yeah if you want to keep on watching this video please like and subscribe and just keep on watching guys okay let's get to the video so I'm gonna be using the flawless foundation by elf and I'm just gonna apply that to the back of my hand and then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush but wait I forgot I'm gonna be using my primer from elf it's a poreless primer and it really helps so yeah I would really recommend that and yeah I'm just gonna rub that all over my face evenly and before I apply anything I always use a headband on my face so like it doesn't get on my hair or something but yeah then I go in with the flawless foundation by elf then I'm going to be using my Damp Beauty Blender and I'm just going to blend all that out evenly. And you really got to blend it guys, like really, really blend it. And after that, like I really hate pimples so I'm going to go in with the foundation again and I'm just going to like put it right on the pimple and try to cover that up. So, because it's like really annoying. I hate pimples so much. Next, I will be using the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in color Light Beige. And I'm just going to put that like under my eye, my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. And I'm going to blend that out really good with a damp beauty blender. Next, I will be using my HD Concealer in color Dark Brown. And I'm going to use this as contour. And yeah, this is really annoying because it won't like come out. And I'm just going to put it on my cheekbones and on my nose to like contour my nose. And to give it like an illusion of a jawline, I'm just going to put it under my chin. Then again, with the Damn Beauty Blender, blend that out blending is really important because you don't want to like have something not blended because it will look really weird then after I will be using my contour effects palette with the bronzer and I'm just gonna put that on top of the contour After I do anything else, I'm going to go to my eyebrows. And what I'll be using is this eyebrow utensil. And then I'm going to go in with that brown color and fill in my eyebrows. And then after I have filled in my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my spoolie and I'm just going to put the hair together and actually make it look good. So after the eyebrows, I'm going to take a concealer brush and some concealer and I'm going to like fix the imperfection of the eyebrows to actually like outline it and make it look really good. I'm going to be using the concealer, the Mary Kay concealer, and I'm just going to put it around the eyebrows. Let's go. 
and then finally we're going to go on to eyeshadow so I'm going to be using my clean color eyeshadow primer in matte and I'm going to put that on so the eyeshadows could be more pigmented and they could be like more buttery texture and they could actually go on easier and blend easier so what I'll be using is the Huda Beauty palette yes look at that beauty and I'm gonna be using this blending brush and I'm gonna use the color Coco for my base color So next I'm going to be using the color Henna and I'm just going to blend that out on the side of my eye. Then with this flat surface blending brush I'm going to go in with the color Sandalwood and I'm going to blend that out with the two colors that I already have. And for my inner corner color I'm going to be using the color Blessed, look at that beauty. And with this small tapered brush, I'm going to be going in with that color blessed and I'm going to go in the inner corner and like sort of blend it in with the rest of the colors. Using my finger, I'm going to be going in with the color blessed to make the color pop more. And for lips, I'm going to be using my matte Lime Crime Lipstick in color Cashmere and my Forever 21 Matte Lipstick in color Nude. And after I have applied those two lipsticks, I'm going to take a brush and blend those two colors together. So guys, this is the final makeup look you could wear to a night out or like just fall or something like I don't even know you could like just wear it anywhere and it's like simple and like it's just really nice I love it and I have a really cute hairstyle that goes with this so keep watching for this cute little short uh, hair tutorial okay guys so what I'm gonna be doing to my hair I'm gonna braid both sides of my hair just a regular braid and then I'm just gonna bobby pin it to the back of my hair how could I forget highlight guys but I'm gonna go in with the revolution vivid baked highlighter Guys, this is the final makeup look and the final hair tutorial so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe for more upcoming makeup videos and if you have like any requests then just go down in the comments and tell me um like what you would like me to do next so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and lots of kisses and love to you guys, okay? Bye! <laughs> Shut up. Look at the wrist. Oh my god, I'm feeling it today. Sorry. Oh shoot, hairspray line stuff. I'm not really, really. Easy hair tutorial. <coughs> Curl your hair. <sighs> Easy breezy. Cut the curl. Yeah, it's starting. Oh my god, guys. Grease live is starting. I gotta go, guys. <laughs> she was Bye. Four. Just one. Four. I can hear the bells. My heart is aching. Go to pink, guys. See, that's seven.